Here they want us to factorize. Now when you have a bracket that is the same, then you must take that bracket out as a common factor. So x plus y. Then what do you have left over? Well, if you cancel that and you cancel that, then you're left with 9 minus y squared. Now for three marks, there's definitely extra steps that we need to now do. And so you now need to look at this bracket because this bracket can go further. Is it a common factor? No, there's no common factor there. It's actually going to be a difference of squares. Because when you have two terms like that, separated with a negative, and each of these is a perfect square. Do you know what a perfect square is? Let me actually explain. Is this a square? If you put a 4 and a 5, is that a square? No, a square has the same number on either side. Now, if you had to multiply these two together, what would that give you? That would give you 20. So we say that the number 20 is not a perfect square. But what about the number 9? Well, that could be 3 times 3. Now that is a square because squares have the same amount, same same length on either side. So that is a, a perfect square. That's why we say the number 9 is a perfect square. How cool is that? So the number y squared is also a perfect square because it's y multiplied with y. So these are both perfect squares. So what we can do is then go leave that bracket over there, open up two brackets, and then we put the side lengths. So first we're going to do the 3, because that goes with the 9. So you put a 3 and a 3 in the front, and then you put a y and a y. Whoops, a y and a y. And then one of them gets a plus and one of them gets a minus. And that is how you would get your 3 marks.